right, how's it going, guys? So I've just been playing around a little bit more with my scripts and fixing them up. And I kind of wanted to go ahead and show you how I use my computer without a bar. Um, I've talked about this plenty in the past, but just wanted to go ahead and make a, an actual dedicated video for it. I might have already done this before, but I'm not sure. Uh, it might be back on the channel, but hopefully you enjoy this and maybe you'll see why I don't really need to use a bar. Um, perhaps you don't need to either, but if you use a bar or don't, I mean, it doesn't matter. It's just personal preference. Do what you want to do. This is just how I use my computer and hopefully you find it interesting. So for me, uh, I obviously use Tiling Window Manager. So, you know, I like keyboard shortcuts for stuff. So when it comes to my actual bar and everything, most of the information that you're going to have in your bar, I don't really need um, like you're going to have your workspaces up there. I have five workspaces. They're numbered uh, like the key bindings for them is the Windows key and then one through five. Uh, so I, I, I also know where I am. Like, even if I don't have anything open, I know where I am. I don't really need to know. Um, I could easily create, create a key binding that would pop up and give me a notification for where I am, but I don't need it. And that's actually how I represent and get information that I would have in a bar is just using key bindings and notifications. So I, my, the program that I use for notifications is Dunst and with Dunst running, which when I start up my window manager, it runs in the background. All I have to do is, you know, just uh, press one of the key bindings that I have and it'll run a little script that I have that'll send a notification with some different info that I would probably want in a bar. Like mod T will bring up a date and time. So I'll get that. Uh, mod S gives me some system resource information. It'll tell me my RAM usage, CPU load, and CPU temperature. And this notification actually stays up for a little bit longer just so I can actually, you know, read it and absorb the info because that's it's got a, you know, a little bit going on there. It's not a very, you know, small info dump, you know, it's got a lot, a lot of info there. So, you know, I don't have to open up a terminal, run NeoFetch or anything. And that's something that probably a lot of people have in the bar. Another one would be weather. I have a key binding for that and it'll tell me like I'm in Tennessee. So it'll tell me the two, you know, major cities in Tennessee that, is kind of relevant for weather for me. So I have that there. And yeah, I just do all of that with simple shell scripts that I have in my folder here. Um, so I have my sys stat script, weather get and time and date script. And then for getting programs and stuff, because you know, a lot of people use panels and stuff really just for a application launcher. And for that, I just use Rofi. Um, so I just have a key binding that will pop up this application launcher in the middle and how I've got it configured is really fantastic. Um, it looks good and it's, it's a nice run launcher. So I could type any program I've got on the system and launch it from here. Um, Alt and one through three will take me to the different options. So I can go over here and get a few, like a whole list of all the apps on my system and, because in Steam, I, I add like my games with, you know, um, like whatever it's called, you know, system tray, whatever, shortcuts, whatever, like they're in here. Um, I've got, you know, just a whole bunch of stuff available in here. I have all of the features that someone with a bar would have, you know, the, the all, all the bits and bobs, but... I don't actually have to have a bar constantly taking up my screen. And also when you think about it, really when you want that info, you don't actually want it on the screen all the time because you probably rarely check the time. You just want to check it when you think about it. So having a simple key binding to bring up all of this info, like makes sense. Oh, I just took a screenshot there. I did not mean to do that, but you know, they, it, it makes sense. And so, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this and you liked it. So 
yeah, uh, I will throw up this the screen or image of everyone who supports me over on Patreon. Thank you guys. It means an absolute. Oh, it just it just means a lot that people support the channel financially. Thank you guys. And thanks everyone for supporting on YouTube by liking, subscribing, commenting, and just generally being really awesome people. So yeah, um, I hope you enjoy using a bar, but if the idea of using not using a bar seems cool too, and you kind of want to know how to write scripts to get that functionality out of there, uh, these scripts are up on my dot files. You can check them out and yeah, hopefully you enjoy them. I'll see you guys later. Peace.